Good morning everyone. This is Bruce with an aerial viewpoint. Today is day eight of the Ballville Dam removal. We are in Fremont, Ohio and looking at what was what's left of the Ballville Dam. We have three hammers working on it today and I see they've actually broken into the floodgates we'll take a closer look at those in just a bit uh, this guy here seems to be chugging right along spin around to the other side so we get a little better view A lot of concrete coming down. And we'll move down to the notch. We've got two hammers working away, one on top and one's lowering the notch and looks like they're actually getting it down quite a bit and then the one on top is working his way across water keeps coming down more and more Sure, it's a lot harder taking the water out or with the water going by, he can't see. Oh, quick peek at we've got two observers over here on the other side. They found a great viewpoint and it's in the shade, even. Like I said earlier, it's a lot harder for that hammer to chip away and lower that notch with the water going over, it's hard for him to see. And we'll take a peek at our treasures we saw yesterday. I see the barrel and I see a square spot where that chest was. Looks like some treasure hunter made it down there to claim whatever was inside. Maybe a million dollars. Maybe diamonds. Somebody knows. Well, with uh, these three working together here, we'll probably see quite a bit of work done through the day today. So I'll have to be sure to stop by later and check and see what's going on. We'll swing back up here by the floodgates. Well, he was putting some pressure on that one. So the whole front end lifted up. Yeah, he's chipping away like crazy. I wonder if the concrete deeper down in the dam is harder, or I'm sure it was poured the same time. He's pulling out some big bowlers there Oops, sorry for the fast tilt want to take a look down here in the floodgate box here I see rock down at the bottom and very little water there you can see the floodgates uh, right and left one there. Can't really see the big gate going downstream there much. Take a look at uh, the water here. Now that it's calm we can see down in a little ways. Looks like a big old pipe down there. 
I wonder if that was the intake going that ended up heading down towards the hydro. Not sure. We're going to turn and take a little trip back upstream. Got to get up and over my angry power lines here. They don't get to feed on my drone today. Well, we're going to go upstream up by the reservoir here. I've kicked this into 2x speed so that's a pretty long jaunt and there's a bird flying over me apparently. Hope it's not an eagle and hope he doesn't attack. Water has dropped quite a bit now upstream. But as you can see coming up here, there's a lot of water in this stretch. And all of this needs to come down before we get to natural flow, I think. We shall see here. Get up a little higher so I don't lose signal. Nice view of the reservoir. One of our questions has been, what about the water intake for the reservoir that comes out of the river? And hopefully I've got enough range to come over here and take a look. You can kind of see the intake structure right there. And I see water in it at least and uh, that's a good sign so we'll take a quick spin around here and head back last view of the reservoir I'm gonna curve over here to the right a nice pool down there it looks empty I'll probably get a phone call that we're spying on their backyard. And this beautiful house is along here. And this used to be the uh, pretty good little stream flowing through this section here. These people had their own private little stream here. But it's just about dried up and gone. So it sounds like And getting back here to the dam. And while we're up here moving along, I might as well head up or head down. We'll go downstream down to, uh, to the hydro. Drop some altitude here. Again, we're at 2x speed, so uh, we're buzzing along pretty good. you notice the cars are really whipping along. Okay. Now we're down below the Ballville Bridge and coming up to the Haunted Hydro. That's about as far as I'll go today. I did want to take a quick peek inside where the roof's off. Uh, I'm going to have to peek in there from a lower altitude one of these days. Now we're back, heading back, normal speed. Several people has, have asked for a picture of the river around the Ballville Bridge. And yes, I did say I'd go under it, but not today. I'm going to have to be quite a bit closer to do that. The river's quite muddy through here, but that's from all that water churning through the notch. And hopefully it's dropping some of that silt off.
back to the ice control structures nice and clean no trees and our workers chugging away and chipping away at that concrete I appreciate everybody watching I will check back this afternoon or late afternoon and see if there's any major changes if not I will be back here tomorrow again thanks to everybody for watching have a great day and stay cool because it is hot today and we'll see you tomorrow.